and we're back to another episode of Let's Play Stardew Valley. I'm your host, the RPG Guy. And today... Oh, it's going to rain tomorrow. Nice. Not that we care, because we don't. All right. I, it's blackberry season right now. The bushes are full of them. I want to pick some, but I lost my basket. Can you help? Yes, we can. This is one that can be done pretty easily. And cranberries, ho. And another ancient fruit. Nice. I love those ancient seeds. Could have, could have saved it. Could have, would have, should have, but we didn't. Now, cranberries we don't need to turn in. We only need to turn in pumpkins. So, cranberries are interesting. Now, we could save them for winter and make cranberry stuff, but we're not. We're going to sell all of these because we need the money right now. Um, and cranberries are going to be worth a lot because they're going to keep respawning. Uh, I forget how often we have to wait. They're going to keep respawning as the days go on. So that's all sorted out. Now we got this down here. What is this? Okay, this requires a scythe, so let's go grab our scythe. Our scythe of the Um, scythe. And then we'll figure out what we want to put down there, which I'm not sure of yet. We'll have to think about this, but yeah. Amarath. Yeah, there was a side quest we could have done for it, but I was just too lazy to give a shit. Um, speaking of giving shits, let's sell all these goodies. You don't need the Amarath for anything. Um, that I can, at least that I can think of. So we'll dump, 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 and dump. And we'll hold on to the ancient fruit. We'll have uses for that in due course, of course. Let's take a spice berry and another amethyst. And let's replace that. Alright. And we'll do our gift our gifting as well while we're out and about. We're gonna get a lot of money, by the way, because we just put in 56 fucking cranberries, yo. And that gonna be some good shit. So we may not even need to fish today. We could in other words, we can speed up the day. However, if we fish, quote unquote, we maximize our profits. So I am probably gonna fish anyway because it is in good, in good, or in our good nature to want to keep producing good, good shit, uh, money-wise. Because the more money we get, the more we can meet the requirements to unlock the bus stop reward. Which I can't answer for you the importance of it right off the top of my head right now. I mean, I know what I know what it is. I don't want to give it away for those of you who are like waiting for like a. Surprise or something. They let that fucker in. Fucking game. Make me wait another like, fucking ten minutes. They let that fool in. What? Am I not to be trusted? Alright, um, then probably not. Uh seven days. That means it won't be ready till the fourteenth. And then they continue, but we don't know how often they're gonna continue. So we're gonna go with the eggplants instead. So five versus seven, you're not saving that much. Um, but these are expensive. We'll go with eggplant. I should stick to my guns when I, of what I said earlier. Is to go with the eggplant primarily for most of this stuff. Come on, woman. I want to give you your gift. We'll come. We'll come back to Abigail and gift her. Gift her a little later. You know who is probably available is what's her name for the jelly. Well, speak of the devil. Not sure what she likes off the top of my head. This might take you a while. Um. Oh my God, woman. The things we do for Putang. All right. Let's. Uh. What was I gonna do? Let's go turn in the five grand reward. Cause then I'll spend the day fishing. Cause at least we'll get two, maybe a grand of that back. Uh, via fishing, which is always good. Um, the next one is at 10 grand, which we probably will hold off on until we get other things built, but, eh, we'll see. Quality fertilizer, nice. We won't need to use that till much later. 10 grand and 25,000, I don't know. But here's the thing, again, I'm going to reiterate, we have cranberry season going on right now. We are maximizing our profit via the eggplant cranberry craze so 
Money may not be a big deal. I know that sounds weird, but it may not be a problem for us at this juncture. It's too early in the game for us to tell, so... Oh my god, what the hell is she doing? Abigail! Come play with my amethyst! Here she comes. Nice. So we know she comes out at 11. We'll make an effort to remember that. Okay. You're all set, woman. Now stop blocking the walkway. I got shits to do, y'all. Alright. Let's go back to the farm, plant the eggplant, and we will deposit the quality fertilizer. And then we'll fish the rest of the day away. So this was a good harvest. I'm excited about it. Now we're going to see how much money we get from those cranberries. The cranberries being, I think, the only pro to know we put am the amorite in, or whatever it is called, the amethyphrobla of it in there so yeah, that's not gonna help us too much but for what it's worth we got 30 quality fertilizer all right let's plant this shit now once we get like on day 15 we're probably gonna not bother planting new stuff so we're gonna have a very kind of awkwardly open field i forget i think these are pumpkins or something there's pumpkins somewhere it's one of these two. So we'll worry about that once we get there, but uh, it's still a little early to be concerning ourselves with it. Um, and we'll sell that. The other thing, too, actually, is when the other areas can become open, we'll plant more pumpkin. Now, this sounds weird. So why would we plant more pumpkin? We need... Well, we don't need high-quality pumpkin. What am I saying? No, it's a waste of money. A waste of time, too. Uh, for a crop that's only mildly better than what we're getting out of the renewable ones. So, cranberries are the cream of the crop, though, for the fall. So, in future uh, ventures, we're probably going to be more focused on that regard. Oh, you know what we can do today? Not, you know what? Let's fish first. One of the things we can do today is get Linus's basket. I believe it's by the highway. And it's just sitting there. We just need to go grab the damn thing. But I figure we'll do a little bit of fishing first. Have some fun with that. Or lack of fun. Whatever you want to call it. Because we're not going to get any of the new ones. We don't have any of the, hook, the hooks or the bobbers, the specialty shit. So I'm not that worried, you know, about getting that stuff right at this juncture. We can also go sca scavenging at the beach as well for some extra cash. But we'll worry about that again. Like I said, we'll worry about that when we get there. But yeah, we can start earning things as well, like the trees. We can start buying the saplings and whatnot and get those grown in the winter time. The reason why I'm pushing doing it around winter now that I read the the uh, description um, at the merchant, the merchant trend who was selling the cherry one, is they will grow through the entire month of winter. So whichever ones will harvest fruit is negligible because we will, they, every the, everything will be done. So that's the thing we need to save money for, is to buy and plant all the saplings before winter. So I may e might even hold off on the cows, doing the stuff with the cows. Um, just to buy those saplings. We're talking 10 grand plus 20 grand worth of saplings to buy one of each uh, bush, so to speak, or each plant. The big big one we need early on being apples. Now, the, you could do, there's an easier way to accomplish this, which is the, um, fucker. It's the, um, the cave. We use the cave for mushrooms, right? But you can also use the cave for fruit bats. And you can get various fruit year-round that way at random. I don't recommend it, though. You don't make a, a lot of money selling in the fruit. And you find enough fruit in the game, and you can grow your own fruit to produce your own jellies and wines and stuff. So it does. It seems pretty trivial to, to me, anyway, to waste time 
with a fruit cave, as the mushrooms are much more rare, and you can make really powerful healing items for you when you dive into dungeons. And you need purple mushrooms, which are the rarest of the mushroom types, usually next to morsels, um, for uh, some of the stuff in the community center. So it just makes sense to go with the mushroom one. The rewards are less, but they're harder and they're greater rewards in the grand scheme of things. So if I need to push the barn back a season, we'll push the barn back a season for all I care. Just throwing that out there. I know that sounds terrible in a way, but to me it makes sense to do it that to to, to, to do it. To push the push it back a season. Over maybe getting the bus going for us again, and because we have an automated farm at this point, we would be good for us to try to get the bus by winter time because that way we can start going to other dungeons. Because we can't right now. We're, we're stuck here. And I don't want to spend all fucking winter fishing and freezing my nipples off. So that's not going to work either. Playfully disturbing as that sounded. Um, it's it's just a big fat waste of fucking time. So we do, I'm probably going to ex nay some of the things. I'm either I'm going to build the fruit trees and work on finishing off the, uh, the other thing I mentioned. Um... The fuck was I talking about? The um, money ones to get the bus going again. That way we have more stuff for you to do. And I, I don't want to bore you guys with the same monotonous stuff. As I'm realizing after coming back from the holiday, three episodes, this being the third episode I've done since I've come back from the holiday, this is going to start getting very monotonous. Um, especially for you as viewers. So in order for me to mix it up a bit, I'm going to have to try to get access to areas a little faster than I normally would. Nor, uh, you know, faster than I would normally attempt in the hopes that we can see some cool stuff and do some more adventuring kind of things. I think we already turned that in, but we'll hold on to it for now. We can actually check the, the artifact thingy in a second. I don't, I believe we've already turned one in though, so that usually means we can get rid of it and chuck it. Let's go check. Because we're right here anyway. We're also going to try to befriend more people in town, too. Once once marriage kind of takes care of itself, we'll be pretty much ready. Okay, we don't have anything new to donate, so we're done there. Let's grab... Um, let's throw that away. <coughs> We can do some beach forging, and we'll look for Linus's basket while we're at it. The perks, too, is to try to befriend people in town, because it's a good idea. Um, but I usually do the befriending after the character gets married. It's Ooh, there's two squigglies. Okay, book. Good thing we came down today. Nice. We should read some of these, too, just to say that we've read them. Ooh. Oh, nice. We got a new artifact. Even better. So it was worth coming down here just on the principle of that. Um, lots of forging out today. This is good. This is a good uh, good day to come down here. We must not have done it in a while, too. I, I, in the back of my head, I like to think that when you find good forging, when you have a good forging day, it's because you haven't been down in a while looking for stuff. So, But this side probably is going to be empty. We got a bunch of good stuff on the other one. Oh, there's a few. There's one thing. Two things. Eh, better than a swift kick to the nuts. And we have room for Linus's basket. We'll go look at that, too. Since we now need to go back to the house. We'll sell the rusted spoon, but we need to keep the anchor. And knowing me, I'll fucking forget and sell the damn thing and start punching homeless people. Sorry, Linus. It's just gonna have to be that way, fucker. All right. Um... <laughs> The greenhouse. Unlocking the greenhouse will be great, too, because then you can grow whatever you want year-round. And I usually use it for blueberries and, like, specialty seeds. Usually save a block of eight and grow, like, anything that will grow keep, grow and constantly keep growing without, like, slowing down. So there, there's a purpose in all of that for later. Um, but let's empty out our shame-tory. I mean, inventory. So bump, bump, boop, 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 that, that, keep the anchor. That, 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 that. Everything else we keep. 
And some of this we're going to derp deposit. And I need to start spending more time with the animals. I keep forgetting to go over there and pet them. And try to befriend them. Make them join the dark side. Let's put the anchor where I can see it so I know to do it. All right. This is what we, the moment we've all been waiting for, guys. Um, I'm just going to call it for the day in the game. So that way we can see our monetary reward. I don't. I think we'll get about four grand if we're lucky. And level six fishing, nice. We get spinner and top bobber or whatever. Damn, son! Whew. Okay, so we got a lot of the money from our trouts here. The trout and the smallmouth bass. So that, that explains most of that. Damn, son! So this is why we grow fucking cranberries. That's why they're $240 a fucking seed. Fuckers. Yes! The amaranth isn't too bad either, but... Eh. I mean, you have to sight the shit out of that. Fuck that. So there you guys go. You got to see the big harvest there. That We're, we're already at 11000 We can go right now and turn that next one in. I'm debating on doing that, though. Um... We need to figure out what we want to do. Um, but yeah, so we know we'll get about 10 grand a harvest of just the cranberries. Of just the cranberries, mind you. So we've got our shit fucking figured out for a while as far as what, what we need to do, what we can do, and the fact that it's going to be easy for us to build up um, some money to blow on, like I said, the other stuff that we were working on. Let's do grape... Uh, crystal fruit. Crystal fruit. Delicious. And, oh, I don't know if I want to do blackberries yet. Um, I've got those ancient fruits we're sitting on, but I wanted to save these and the star fruits for a lot later. And the hops. Um, not the beans. The beans we can't do. Yeah, we'll just do that. Oh, we missed some cranberries. Oh, shit, we missed a little bush full of cranberries as well. Eh. That's funny. Only Stardew Valley Fair in town is a big thing you're drawing people. Oh, I like you. You can set up a Grange display. Just bring up to nine items that best showcase your talents. All right, so we will bring whatever we've got going on. So we actually would have made a little bit more money there, but oops. Should have just left them on the stock. All right, so. Without further ado... Let's do one thing here. It's the first rainy day here. I want to check something. As we get eggs. Four of them. We will put two of them in the thingamajig. Each mayo machines. And I believe we don't need to turn in the other two eggs necessarily. I'm going to hold on to them for the moment. Um... I think we need large brown eggs, which only grows as you befriend the chickens more. So we have to wait for that. Now, the next big goal here is 25000 Now, we can do a lot with that money. We don't know how often the cranberries are going to respawn. Okay, so it could be another seven days before we get another batch. And that's still not going to be enough to do it again. But we do want to knock out the... I do want to knock out the ten grand one right now. Because again, we're not in a we're not hurting for money right now, so. And like I said, we do now have enough to build that barn, but I'm gonna kind of wait on that. You know what? I think I lied about what I want to do. No, no, no. We'll do the ten grand one. And we get another lightning rod. Yay! Now the next one is twenty five thousand. That's going to take some time. What I'm thinking in my head, what I was thinking about just a second there was the saplings again. Constantly going back to thinking about buying the saplings. Um, we will probably do that this season. I won't go for the $25,000 uh, thingy yet. We're going to go for the sapling run. Which pretty much means I'm going to buy every sap one of every sapling that they have at the convenience store. And we're going to, you know, deal with it. We're going to get that all set up and ready to go. Um, it'll be good stuff. 
It'll make sense in, in due course, of course. Alright, so what else can we do? Silo is done, and I believe the silo will be empty. And... Oh, it's out of 480. So let's go grab and fill these up as best as we can. But the, I'm probably going to put the trees behind the silos. Oh, wait, what am I doing in here? We need these sites. And now we want to clear out the area down here, because this is where we can expand our farm later. So look at how much money we made, right? Off of the cranberries. Almost, excluding spring, every season, uh, the, it's fall, uh, fall and summer have a, have a, uh, a, pro, a, pro, a produce that can bring you massive profit. In summer, it's usually blueberries. I will just grow nothing but fucking blueberries out. Yes! And probably anything else that might show up just because I want to make sure I'm growing everything there is to grow. Um, but the, um, the idea behind this is that if we have everything we need going for us, we can um, just start raking in dough to buy whatever we need to afford all the upgrades we want, to afford the luxury versions of coops and buildings which are upgrades, you know, we can start buying that stuff no problem. Spring, I don't, I know it has stuff that you can regrow during the year, but I don't think they're nearly as profitable and as bountiful as cranberries and blueberries. I want to say it's strawberries, um, but I don't recollect being able to buy those except at the carnival, um, at one of the outings, and then usually you're buying it for the year in advance. So this year we didn't have a lot of money to do that, so we probably will only grow uh, the amount of strawberries we have unless Pierre carries them. I know at some point he starts carrying them. And if he does start carrying them, we'll use it then. You can see we're really working to fill that up. That silo being a nice way to just knock a day out without really making much money. We don't need to. We made a shit ton of it earlier and just turned a lot of it in but we still got it almost two grand so that's enough to buy any seeds we want that are not cranberry seeds we should be finishing now okay cool cool beans we can also still build the barn and start upgrading parts of the you know the, the you know the farm as we start getting money and stuff Ooh, a geo. let's turn that in um, but yeah, there's a lot we can do. There's a lot of freedom for us to do stuff. And it's all going to come down to what we are able to knock out here. We're going to sell the mayo, since I don't usually keep it. Alright, we'll dump that, we'll dump that in. Um, we'll dump the scythe, because we're done for that with that. And we need to turn in the anchor. These are worth nothing. Now, mayo is an artisan good, it, and that might actually be a better deal to give to Mar Marnie, but as the eggs are, the chickens are constantly producing eggs for us, we're not in a hurry to be stockpiling them. I'm not in a hurry to fucking stockpile them. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not. Um, and we care more primarily about a la the large eggs, brown and white, which we don't have yet. I think we've already turned that in, but... We'll, we'll hold on to it. We won't just go out and fucking dump it, sell it right away. Actually, we keep some of the minerals. I don't see it down there, actually. But apparently I've turned it in. I don't even see it down there. What the hell? Oh, no, it's right there. Okay. Let's put this in. Okay. All right. Jago right. Jago, Jago white. Now, now we've done that, let us, what was I going to do? I already forgot. Let's go to the bus stop. Oh, you know what? We need to get Linus's basket. There it is right there. And actually, he'll be in his tent, so this is a good day to do it. So we'll drop off the Jagalite and figure some other stuff out. The stoofs. The stoofs. Right. And what do we got 
right here. Another book. I'm not gonna complain. And up and over. Forging is still a good thing for us to be doing right now, too. I, I've been a little lackluster in pointing that out at times, but it's good that we're, you know, still doing it. Linus is up here, you idiot. Yeah! Oh, speak of the devil. What's up, bro? And our journal is updated. We don't get anything for our trouble. But that's the way that that goes. What else was in there? And Mayor Schwartz. Okay, so... Alright. So we could go fishing today, but I'm feeling a little less inclined. Matt and I gotta pee. I'm sitting here rocking back and forth in the chair having to pee, but I gotta make it. I gotta make it at least 20 more minutes. All right, let's grab that berry. Um, there's just nothing to do. It's weird. There's like nothing to do really today. That would be in any way majorly productive. I don't know. Did we check the the farm? I didn't check the produce. We'll do that. And maybe just do like a quick, you know, waste. Just waste this day. I don't care really. Um, because like I said, we're we're not growing anything next season. Though we are growing things the following season, but right now there's not a big demand for us to be doing much as far as trying to get certain things done. And you can see now we also have money by making mayo the entire um, winter as well. So we will have the, uh, we'll, put, we'll actually save these to turn in later. We actually have the use for mayo. <clears throat> um, that'll be a way we make money going forward. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna be lazy today. We're gonna have a lazy day, guys. It's our little secret, bro. We're gonna have a lazy day. Um, we've turned in all the gifts. We'll we'll work on Abigail a bit more. I know her birthday is coming up, so that'll be a thing. And I forgot already when. The, look at those two cranberries plus the two mayo. Look, that's pretty good money right there from 380 bucks a day for mayo, and that's only putting in two when we could get as many as four. Off and on. Usually you only get one egg a day if you're lucky. Not, and that's not even necessarily every day. But if you keep at it, you'll find a way to make some money. And we'll be ready for when springtime comes around. Alright. Now we've got, oh my, stars and garters. Let's see here. We've got all kinds of stuff. Uh, well, we've got more eggplant, which we will immediately sell. Grapes haven't produced whatever that is. I think those are grapevines. I haven't produced sh jack shit yet. So let's go ahead and grab these guys. And today is the 10th. We have an open slot here in which we can um, still plant stuff. Um, we don't need to waste fertilizer, though. I'm not going to do that. So we might be able to put... 32 eggplants? 32 eggplants. I don't want to waste the time with the cranberries. They might take too long, and they're too expensive. They're too too rich for us. Wednesday, though, the farm is closed. The market is closed. Fuck. We could buy it from Jaja, I guess. They're not closed on a Wednesday. They never close. But I hate giving them money. Okay. Alright. Good to know. Here be the honey, which we'll sell. I don't care. Um, let's deposit all berries and f all fruit in here. That'll be relevant later. And then we can sell pretty much everything else. Nice. You know what? We're going to have to buy some stuff from Jaja. I don't want to lose the ability to buy that stuff so we, and it's like gonna be one of maybe two times I ever buy anything from Jaja Jaja Kava so you know what so fucking sue me you sons of bitches so
let's see here. I know I'm not talking much right now. I'm trying to think. Let's see, I have 32. He might not even. They might not even have eight points. It's fucking. They might just give me the finger. I don't like supporting them. They're not open yet, but they will be. They will be. Well, we're waiting. We have enough time to get one fish. One fish. Or one out. No, I'm getting a fish. I'm not going to just get algae when I just come over here to do that. Fucking game. Come on. You know what? Fuck you, asshole. <laughs> Gave me fucking algae again. All right, let's see here. Um... Yeah, look at how cheap their shit is, though. Some stuff isn't too... Cranberry's just more expensive, but... Some stuff... Oh, I don't know. I don't remember what eggplant seeds were going for, but... I thought they were more expensive. Again, it was one of the only few times... It's one of the few times we're going to shop there, but that's just because I want to plant them today. I don't want to wait till tomorrow. I don't want to wait after breakfast and plant today. We're also going to need the watering tin, too, because some plots had to be re... Redug. But we need to optimize our revenue if we want to do some of the cool things I've been thinking about. So optimizing the revenue, meaning we could have put in cranberries, but the time we would be putting in less cranberries, this might give us the same amount of, as eight cranberry, one set of eight cranberries. I, I would say this might give us the same amount of money as one cranberry thing would, and we'd only be getting that to happen very, but we'd be getting less cranberry harvest. I want to believe we'll get more harvest out of these, so... And it's not a big deal. We're just lightly trying to maximize here. We're not trying to guarantee optimization. This basic bullshit is really all we're doing. We need to go check on the chicks as well. Giggity. All right, where's that tin? There's that tin. Let's get to a watering. It's like, again, because this is just what happened. You know, we're going to have to do this to... Uh, the f in the first time we plant every season, we'll have to probably water everything. Okay, um, so we've done that. Good. What's that? Shitter. Man, we'll check on the chicks here. I see them wiggling around down in there. Hey, buddy, what you doing? Come here. Be my friend! And nothing new for us. Except, oh, no, they're hiding in there. So we get two more brown egg eggs. Make some mail. Really quick, I'm going to go over um, to the community center. I want to check something. And I want to, the reason I want to check is I want to check what eggs we need out of curiosity. I'm very curious. I want to make sure that we are maximizing our use, the uses of the chicken eggs and making sure that we don't need regular chicken eggs for anything. I don't think we do. I think we only need large, but, and there have, we don't have any large yet, so I'm not worried about that. But I do know brown and white eggs are going to be a requirement of sorts. And now that we also have eggs, when we upgrade the kitchen, we can make an omelette. Okay, nothing in here that we can work with right now. Duck egg, we can't do. So, yeah, they're two large eggs and a large milk. Those are the easiest ones to do early on. Okay, so we sorted that out. Yay! I'm trying to think of if I'm missing anything, but I don't think so. I'm not going to bother fishing, guys. In order to help speed us along gameplay-wise, I am just going to go for the harvest. I might choose a day or two if we have, like, oh, eight minutes in an episode left. I'll go fish and waste those eight minutes. But for right now, let's try to move the days on here. Try to produce, force the harvesting to come more quickly. That way we can, you know, profit. 
I don't know how to sell that. All right. We're all good. Let's do this. So I'm probably going to get glares because, like I said, I'm not maximizing my fishing. But in the in the interest of moving the game forward, we're going to make days progress the faster and not worry about the fishing money. We're missing a thousand, maybe a thousand bucks a day, but eh, I'm indifferent, really. Look at all this to sell. We're not going to keep the jellies anymore because we're not getting much money for much for them money wise. So I'm not going to make a thing a stink about waiting for them. I see some grapes down there. I think. Yep, there's some grapes. Which is good. We'll keep those. Here's some corn. So we can sell this too. We'll go and get the grapes at the last. Because I'm not going to be selling the grapes. No siree balb. No grape sales. We didn't get this one. All right, let's dump this shit. And we'll see what the crystal jelly goes for. We will get crystal jelly berries later in the winter. That's when they show up. Here's some regular grapes, which I'm going to save my regular grapes to make wine. But you can make wine out of any fruit, so that's not a big thing. It's just themat thematically correct. A theme, thematically. Thematically, I don't think so. Weird. But theme-wise, I would like to do that. that way. We need to put new fruit in. We've got lots of blackberries, so that's kind of cool. Um, we also have the plums as well. Let's do the higher-end plums. I said I wasn't going to bother with the high-end stuff and just sell it, but I don't give a shit that much. The money amounts are negligible. Let's also go into the mushroom building and see what we've got shroom-wise going on okay we'll keep the moral and get rid of everything else for obvious reasons and we'll check the chickens so now we're gonna have to start getting into a regular kind of farming system here we'll keep the moral. and it mostly it revolves around checking what we've got and making sure that every, you know um, everything's either the animals are happy oh wait these are done Nice, we got some yams done, which means we're going to have to pick up some more um, eggplants, I think. That's what we'll have to do. Stupid cocks. And two small eggs. We'll plant those. We'll, it will may mayonnaise those immediately. Alright, and we'll sell these yams. get more deliciousness going here egg wise so again we're gonna start stockpiling those saps we i'll wait till about 10 grand and then we'll figure out how well, actually we're gonna go to the store now we can figure out how much they are when we get there how much money we need to buy one of every set because i think he sells them year round so that's not gonna be an issue not really and we know what's her name's birthday's coming up too is he not so oh here we go so one two three four five six of them so 10 grand 20 grand 22 25 four 25 400 is what we're looking at 20 so 25 400 so 26 grand is what it's gonna take to buy all those saps and that's fine we just needed to know that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We need... Oh, yeah, no, the other place was five, five bucks more. So actually, it was cheaper to buy from him the whole time. It was cheaper to buy from him the whole time. But he, he wasn't open, and I'm not going to wait. We don't want to wait. We do not want to wait on that. We need the money now. Um, her birthday was Saturday. That's what it is. All right. Let's get these planted. And we're good to go. 
Now, see, I could go fishing, but we're not going to do that. We are not going to do that. We are, yeah, we're not going to fish. We are instead going to just turn in for the night. I might fish for the end of this episode for you guys, though, because we'll do some stuff probably tomorrow, but what to do from there is going to be subjective. Finally, we get the goddamn keg. Nice. And we get the oil maker, too. Woo! We'll look into building that stuff. As we made a delicious, looks like five grand. A delicious five grand. Great. That's just from yam sales and the, the, the goods, the other goods we produced. So, nothing new on the front here, the farming front, that I can see anyway. Got some mayo for sale. Check our chickens as usual. And this is the, this is it, dudes. This is what we're gonna be doing every day. Amongst other things. I mean, we're gonna, we need to, oh, I need to replenish their plot here. I don't know why it's so low. Oh, the, the one day it rained, I guess, or whatever. Don't want them to go hungry. And then we'll get some mayo going. And we're done for the day. Again. Literally, we're done. We're, we don't have to do anything. I know, that sounds seems like such a waste of time. We can't go anywhere, we can't fucking do anything. Sorry, I got I got I got I got a little excited. Not a little excited, a little agitated. Because we don't have the bus unlocked. So we're wasting kind of days in a sense. Again, I could be fishing, but we fished in every little area in the fall. So and we either we don't have the right conditions, which I'm not gonna spend money on the making those right conditions. But we there, there's variables into why we don't have what we have uh, available. So call it another night. I'm not going to give away the secrets. I want you to experience them yourself. But look at those two mayos. 380. We'll be good. We'll be fine through the winter. On top of the jellies. And now we can make kegs. Oh, that's what I should have done. <laughs> Shit baskets. Should have made kegs and an oil machine. And we'll do that today. All right, and look at here, my little friends. We have another harvest. Mm. <laughs> my nipples are just thinking about it. Let's grab these. Oh, and the flowers are done, too. Aw. We've got fairy roses. i sell these fuckers. And we'll plant, guess what? More eggplant. We haven't reached the 15th of the month yet, so... For me, it seems still productive to maybe put some more down. That way, nothing outside of the pumpkins, everything else will be always harvested. So this is a big deal. And actually, so we get the profit of these right away. I'm going to take these products to uh, Numbnuts himself. To Pierre's himself. Because we got to buy um, some more eggplant. Some more eggplant. So that'll be a thing. Though this one berry will harvest tomorrow. But I'm actually not going to harvest it. I'll just leave it there. No, no, I won't leave it there. We will fully harvest everything. Hey, back. hey, buddies. Still giving us the real stiff arm here with the bullshit, fellas. And look at this. This is a big day for us. Let's go and grab something here. Um... Alright. And to the store we go. Oh, it's her birthday. I think we can still give her something on her birthday. We're gonna try anyway. So this is uh, for the record books, guys. Um, and we can build. She doesn't come out till 11 anyway, so I'm not gonna fucking deal with it now. So what do we need here? We need oak resin. I want to build like three of these, so we'll need three oak resins. So it'll be we'll build them one at a time. But um, we don't have the means to build that right now. We can build the oil maker, so we'll build that. We should have enough to build the hardwood to build that. Oh wait a minute, we do have enough to build one of the goodies we need. Excellent. No. Fuck you. All right, so. First things first, let's go to town. We'll build the kegs when we get back. 
and we'll deposit fruit in them, specifically the rare stuff we've been holding on to. I believe, don't quote me on this, but I believe that you make more off of wines than you do jellies. It's a theory. I believe you do, but I could be wrong. It wouldn't be the first time. So for me, that's ulti you know, ultimately that's maximizing my profit. I think wine takes a little longer too, but I think the profit margin is so much higher it's worth the time. Open, 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 yay! Because we might have enough for our plant for our other things too. So let's see. Goodbye, 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 bye, 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 bye. I think the bank was breaking. We're still not at the full amount that we need, but we are damn close. Um, 20, let me see, 20, 5,400 is what we need. 25,400. So we're, we're mostly there. We're gonna forge actually at the beach right now to see if we can get any luck there. We have, it's been a few days. Remember, we've been passing days pretty quickly uh, this episode because like I said, I'm not that eager to go fishing. We've done so much fishing and now that we're getting um, reproduce, reproduction of the fruits, we don't necessarily need um, to do the fishing until we're specifically fishing for certain things during certain weather conditions. Primarily waiting for winter is what I'll be doing. Um, let's see here. Good. Good. Yeah, we've got a lot of forging today, so... And I believe Willie's is open, so we can sell these. I think we can sell these things to him and get that cash now. We're not going to get it probably enough to, to do it, but you don't know unless you try. Now, some of you might say, well, why don't you just pay off the thing so you can go and do the bus stuff? And you're right, I could, but I think... Ah, that fucker's not here today. Ah, horseshit. I think it's better spent doing the the trees... You know, I'm kind of not agreeing with myself on this now. I can earn money. We'll unlock the bus. I changed my mind. We'll do the bus. It, it makes more sense to do the fucking bus. We will get the money we need by winter. I'm not... Shouldn't even be worrying about that. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me. All right. There she be. Happy birthday. You remember my birthday? Thanks. I'm impressed. No. Oh, nice. Look at that. Look at that. Because we remembered her birthday. Aww. Aww. Suck my dirt. Okay. All right. That's a little much. Is it already a new week? Oh, okay. The week's end Friday. It's Saturday. Uh, or no, it's because it's her birthday we were able to give her a new gift. Hmm. Well, what else are we holding here? Maybe she'll want something else here? Um, here, have a piece of coral? Oh, we already given it to her today. All right, fuck that. Okay, um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick to my guns and we're gonna finish out the bank. I, I again, I, I have to say, we could be doing other things. I could be showing you whole new worlds of awesomeness. But alas, I am not. Because of the current situation. Um, of lacking money um, to, for the sap. We could buy, we, again, yeah. And we'll, what we'll do is we'll make sure to plant the spring ones first because certain f trees bear fruit in the spring. So it doesn't really matter if we plant them all at once or we plant them all later. It's just making sure that we get it done. All right. Let's deposit that. And let's sell this shit. And let's build, we need to build a keg. So we've got the oak resin, uh, iron, copper, and wood. So we need one iron, one copper, and we need, we'll need hardwood and we'll take the regular wood out because I know I need both. 
And we need slime and a gold bar. Gold bar, and we'll just take all the slime. I didn't see how I didn't read quickly how much it was. Makes gourmet truffle oil. So if we get truffle, we can make oil with it. All right, so cakes. Oh my god, I want to put a lot of cakes out. So, <clears throat> well, we can put. How can I? Is it because I'm standing there? We can put six of them here. So we will do that. I know it seems like they're in the way, but they're not. At least not to me. And we'll put the truffle machine back here because we won't use it very often. We'll just use it as it's available. Let's put um, the star fruit in there. Get that going. We also need to make a pale ale, so I really should have done that first. Damn it. Oh, well, we have all those ups. But it's not like I don't have all the Christmas, the winter time to do all that. All right, let's redeposit that. We can sell the pine tar for now. You know what? Let's hold on to one of the pine tars just in case we need it later. That way we can start stocking some of the saps as we need them. Everything else looks great. Good. Oh, snap. I didn't buy a eggplant. You know what? We'll buy 16 because once the pumpkins are done, we'll be dealing with that. We shall do that. We shall do that. Um, let me think here. Because we also have uh, the pumpkins still growing, and when that's finally done, we, um... When that finishes, we'll be in an even better, more opportunistic position to, uh, oh fuck, to uh, plant these right away and not have to worry about buying them. In case they harvest on a Wednesday or something, and then the I have to go to Jaja Mart, and I don't want to do that. Try to avoid that as much as possible. I know I fucked up earlier, but that's just the way it goes. Before we end the episode, let's check the cave for the usual fare of shroomage. Oh, well, we got a red one and another moral, which is good. Oops, what the hell? It's not in the right place. Oh, we can sell these jellies, too. Let's sell the jellies, because we're not using them for anything right now. We're not making friends with the townsfolk yet, in, in full fluc fluctuation yet, at full force yet. So let's not. Let's dump that and that for the cash. So, I want to thank you guys for stopping by. I am your host, the RBG Guy. And let's see what we got here before the next day comes. So, not enough to, to <coughs> unlock it. But we'll get it during one of the big harvests. One of the other big harvests. So, I'm not too worried about that. It's another rainy day. But I want to thank you guys for stopping by. I'm your host, the RPG Guy. And when we come back, we have some more Stardew Valley coming your way. It's going to be pretty cool stuff. Thank you guys for stopping by. We'll see you next time. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please take a moment to check out more episodes from the RPG Guy, Tuesday Night Team Up, and more. And please subscribe. Always support the channels you enjoy watching. And while you're at it, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Keep on gaming hard. See you next time.